Hi. A long time ago, at ancient times, people have discovered the phenomenon of static electricity due to friction. If we take a piece of amber or glass and we apply friction, we can get a charge uh, and we can uh, attract small particles such as pieces of paper or, or grass. Now, if you see here, this is a glass ball and a piece of fur on the bottom. When we spin the ball, it creates friction between the glass and the fur. Now, as we spin for a bit, I can start to demonstrate how the f friction creates an attractive force. This force even defies gravity. Look at that. Very cool. Awesome. In the 17th century, scientists started creating rather powerful and influential static machines like this one here. Uh, this machine consists of four glass discs rotating opposite of each other uh, that are in close proximity but not touching, which separates charge and is collected by these charge collectors here and then transported to two electrodes. If I spin the wheel and take the electrode, you will hear sparks. You might not see them yet, but they're forming in close proximity, about an inch of each other. This is the static electricity created by this particular machine. Hi. In this experiment, we will observe the conversion of electrostatic energy into mechanical motion. Please observe. As I create static electricity, it flows from one electrode positive to negative. The ball takes part of that charge and goes back and forth, back and forth between the two bells until they are both discharged. But this machine does not store electric charge. Therefore, scientists created a device called the capacitor one ancient type of capacitor we have here. This is called a Leyden jar, created by a Dutch scientist, Peter von Borschenkopf of Leyden. It was named after the city. Now, this is a discharger which connects two electrodes of the Leyden jar. Watch this. Wow, that was a much stronger spark than what we have experienced on the machine.